We're gonna talk now about glycol feeders. Glycol feeders, our glycol feeder is called GMP. Uh, that stands for glycol makeup package. Uh, we can use a glycol makeup package for a uh, radiant uh, system, for solar system, for snow melting system that requires uh, to have uh, glycol into the, uh, into the piping, or it can be used also with water. Uh, we have four models. We have uh, GMP6, which is six gallon, GMP18, 18, 18 gallon, 50 and 50 gallon, and 100 for uh, a 100 gallon tank. Um, features and benefits, it's actually, we use the GMP to separate the, uh, to feed the pressure on, on the system by not using the uh, a PRV, uh, pressure reducing valve and a backflow preventer to uh, feed the system. Because if you use a backflow preventer, uh, you will be asked every uh, year, every two years to have it tested to make sure that they don't leak. So if you don't want to do that, you can use like a glycol feeder and completely separate your, your system pressure from the uh, water from your house. Um, now, if we uh, if we look at the uh, uh, the system, how the system is made, the system well as a tank for sure, um, and then it comes with uh, a pump system. Uh, we use a 120 volt pump. It's a diaphragm pump. We have an inlet valve over here as a three-way valve. We will explain that in a minute. We have a pressure relief valve, which is easy to adjust with the screwdriver. We have a gauge of year zero hundred uh, 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 psi. We have a, um, a bypass valve in the back of year to release pressure. We have a traded hose at the end. Uh, make sure that there is no vibration coming up from the pump going to the system to make any noise in the house. If I'm starting up with the uh, with the um, the filling kit, we have a filling kit. Uh, the filling kit actually start with a little hose over here uh, that that goes into into this valve over here. When we want to use the filling kit, which is a very nice feature, we have a six footer hose that uh, you can uh, just screw to the inlet over here. And what you do, you just turn this valve to make it 180 degree. What happened is you're gonna instead of uh, instead of this pump taking glycol from the tank. And, and feed the tank like four, five, six times to fill your system, you can have like a larger uh, a barrel, a, a 25 gallon, a 50 gallon barrel that you can just drop this line in and then the pump instead of taking liquid from the tank will take the liquid from the uh, filling kit over here from that uh, barrel. So it prevents you from uh, back filling that little, uh, that little tank over here. After this is done, you just take this off uh, and then you turn your valve in a position where uh, now the pump's gonna take its liquid from the tank. If you uh, look at the pump over here, after the pump, I said we have a PRV over here. The PRV, uh, you can adjust the PRV with a screwdriver, unlock this, this, this locking device over here, and then you turn clockwise to increase the pressure, counterclockwise to decrease, and then you set the pressure to this, the pressure you want for your system. Could be 12 pound, we pressurize that. They, they, they come out of the factory at 12 pound, but you can use 15, 20, 30 pound. This pump goes up to 100 PSI at a uh, flow of uh, 1.6 gallon per minute. Um, then over here we have a bypass in the back. Uh, like I said, the gauge over here read the pressure of the system, not the pressure from the pump. And the pressure switch is over here, and that pressure switch is 100 psi. And then the threaded hose that goes to the uh, to the, the system, the house, the system. Then we have inside we have a tree float over here. The tree float has one float at the bottom because we use a system called piggyback. Piggyback is done. We have this uh, this that goes into the, 100, the, the, the 120 volts on the wall. You plug it up this pump on top. When the flow is going to be up because there is enough liquid in, it will it can activate the pump to start. When if the and then the pump is going to going to go uh, and run in function of the pressure that you request in your system. If the liquid goes too low, then it's going to shut off the pump to prevent this pump from burning. Uh, even if this pump can run dry, uh, it's better off to stop the pump if there's no liquid to be uh, to be uh, get through to uh, to the pump. We have also a, a braided hose over here that can be used. Uh, you undo the small braided hose over here that 4.5 inches, and this is a 72 inches braided hose. And uh, if you had this, you can use this connection like we've seen before on our service center, and you hook this up to the system to make again a very clean uh, uh, system where everything's going to be all together. Inside, 
If you want to use an alarm system, we have uh, uh, an alarm system. We have a float like this, and you just get the float through the uh, through the inlet inside, and you have a T -cro a cross over here. So you're going to use this uh, fitting to go through that cross, and then it stops the uh, the float to be exactly at the right level. You can either use this as a dry contact to if you do have an intelligent panel in your house or you can use our uh, alarm system pack which is a 110 and 10 volts with a 9 volt battery inside um, we have also have a shelf if you want to if you don't want to have the unit on the floor we have a shelf that you can fix on the wall and then you can put the gmp on well that's it for gmps thank you very much Thank you.